Let us all that we can to build a better future. Okay. I got to talk about her. Hillary Clinton. That's right. She is worming her way, sliming her way, crawling her way, buzzing her way back into American politics. And Hillary Clinton is apparently concerned. Oh, no. She's concerned, concerned about Biden's age. And again, why, Hillary, are you talking about Biden's age? Are, are, are you indicating a run? God forbid. Oh, God, here we go again. We're going to see Hillary Clinton. Everybody, get ready to run. Get ready to run. Just get ready to run. So first, before I play this video from Case Study QB, because Tulsi Gabbard is going to uh, give her analysis and her thoughts about Hillary Clinton. And in quote, it just reveals their hand. They are afraid of Robert Kennedy Jr. Uh, if he continues to build momentum, they're going to try and destroy his candidacy, which Tulsi Gabbard is pretty much an expert on that after what the DNC did to her campaign and to her uh, image in 2020. But hell, they've been smearing her since 2016. So it should come to no surprise uh, to anybody. So I do hope that Tulsi does get a chance to maybe pull uh, RFK Jr. aside and say, hey, look, dude, maybe you should just run independent. Maybe. I don't know. Just just a simple suggestion, because for those of you who are veterans of the 2016 and 2020 Democratic primaries, I think we all know how the DNC is going to play its game in 2024. Everyone just learned to be shocked. But see, Hillary Clinton is concerned about Biden's age, but yet she has the audacity to say some BS like this. And I just got to just throw I got to have the discipline not to throw something at my TV or, or throw my computer. Shout out to Unusual Whales. If you're not following them on Twitter, please do so. They have detailed reports about what your oh-so-fantastic U.S. Senator and House Representative in the Democratic and Republican parties on how much of a killing they're making in insider trading. So check out Unusual Whales. Justin, Hillary Clinton said, Dianne Feinstein should not resign. You know, the woman with, who has her, half her face paralyzed, 89 years old. Hillary Clinton said that Republicans would not allow judges to get confirmed if Feinstein resigned. In the three months Feinstein was gone, judges were stalled. Feinstein is worth a whopping, a whopping $200 million. And I've talked about her trades before, but again, well, concerned about Biden's age. Well, look at Diane Feinstein. Ain't she a spring chicken, right? So let's go ahead and pull up this video from Case Study QB. Huge shout out to him. If you're not following him on Twitter, please do so. Now, there was that heart-stopping moment where he almost fell over coming down the stairs a day or two ago. Is that a concern? Didn't she have a tripping accident when she had some pneumonia? Remember that? If you go back to 2016, that's right. Refresh your brains for a second. Put down that, put down that mimosa. I'll hold off on the whiskey in your coffee. Don't smoke that bowl just yet. But really, just go back in time. There was a little incident in New York State, in New York City where Hillary Clinton was having some health issues. She was wobbling and bobbling all over the place. She was dealing with some kind of pneumonia situation. Remember that? Well, I mean, it's a concern for anyone. Um, and we've had presidents who've fallen before who were a lot younger, um, and people didn't go into, you know, heart palpitations. Um, but he, his age is an issue, and people have every right to consider it. That sets from the 60s. Um, so, Congresswoman, you know, she's she's right. And that was a neutrally objective statement, frankly, that absolutely all Americans should consider it. They should consider everything when weighing in on a presidential campaign. Uh, perhaps this issue, however, will be more heavy than most. Uh, I, I think it certainly is top of mind, given there's constant reminders of what a concern uh, it is. But when you look at all of these different issues, Democrats are not happy with with the work that President Biden is doing. So it should be a red flag to everyone watching to see how hard the DNC is trying to make sure that he is not held to account for his record. Uh, Simone Sanders was on Morning Joe the other day saying there will be no primary debate. There now, why is the DNC doing this? Because people are probably asking this question. Why is the DNC preventing any kind of debates? First, the evidence is already out there. The Democratic Party has already admitted, and the courts gave an approval, their thumbs up to it, that the Democratic Party, behind closed doors, can pick their candidate. 
So what this should tell any progressive running in a Democratic Party, any independents in the Democratic Party, and yes, even diehard vote blue, no matter who's sycophants, your vote and present presence are not necessary. You are not needed. You are not wanted. They have a thing called superdelegates. And yes, while the superdelegates don't play a major role in the first wave, they do play a major role in overall selecting who the candidate will be. The DNC doesn't require the voters' input. And the Democratic Party is also doing everything they can to avoid public embarrassment because it is quite clear there is something wrong with Joe Biden. You can't hide it. With all these cameras, with all these smartphones, with everything at our disposal, you're going to look me straight in the eye and tell me that there's nothing wrong with Joe 30330? There will be no stage for Bobby Kennedy or anyone else because the DNC will not allow it. It is all about Joe Biden. And I think it just uh. reveals their hand. They are deathly afraid of Bobby Kennedy. They will do all that they can to pretend like he doesn't exist. And if and if he continues to build momentum, they're going to do everything they can to try to destroy his candidacy because they don't want voters to have an actual choice. They don't want to have a conversation where our president, uh, his record will be examined and, and criticized. I also want to pull up this other video as well. Now, Tulsi is probably uh, uh, the only person who will call out the DNC who was part of the Democratic Party for what they are. Now, you won't hear this from Bernie Sanders because Bernie's a cuck and went all in, all in to supporting his friend Joe. That's right. Bernie Sanders refuses to acknowledge the election fraud, even though independent media outlets like Nico House, Jimmy Dore, Hard Lens Media, we have all said that the Democratic Party committed election fraud in 2016 and, yes, in 2020. So I know that there are RFK Jr. supporters here in the audience. Just be ready for what the DNC is going to do. And I would say before you start throwing money at his campaign, you really need to ask yourself, and this is a question that everyone needs to come to terms with, what are you prepared to do or say, or what will your reaction be when and if RFK Jr. says, all right, everybody, time to support Biden or whoever else the establishment pick will be? This is a decision everyone's going to have to come to terms with. I want to pull up this one as well, where Tulsi Gabbard is uh, discussing the DNC blocking RFK Jr. Let's go ahead and pull this up. Speaking about the Democrats and the DNC, if you listen to them, there is no primary. Mm -hmm. There is no opposition. They're going to try to pretend Bobby Kennedy's not polling at 20 percent because they don't want to have to put Joe Biden on the record to compare and contrast. Hey, you have a record. The American people, Democrat voters actually do have a choice in this election. And, uh, you know, they're going to try to ignore him for as long as they can because they're deathly afraid of him. And they're going to do to him what they did to me in the Democratic primary of, of 2020, which is pretend you don't exist. And then if you start, people start noticing you, then they will try to smear and yeah. cancel and destroy him at all costs. Rem I remember what Hillary did to you. Exactly. Yeah. And she's so standing in yeah. faceless smears that get that repeated over and over and over again by the propaganda media until people actually start to believe it. And it starts causing some real damage. But on the bright side, Hillary didn't kill you. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so a every you know. We really do need to talk about all those uh, people that were supposed to testify against the Clintons throughout the years. And um, look, not to, not not to make anybody panic or anything, but uh, <clears throat> a lot of those people never made it to their court dates alive. I'm just saying. And there's a certain guy, first name Jeffrey, last name was an E. He uh somehow mysteriously passed away in a secure prison cell. But the power went out, and the two guards surprisingly just fell asleep because they were tired. They had to take a nap, a nappy nap. They were tired. What do you want them to do? Keep an eye on the prisoners and do their jobs? <laughs> Hard work. I don't think so. Every day, life yeah, is a blessing. Yeah, and I'm so always a boss. I don't know, but it's a Tulsi Gabbard body double right now. <laughs> <laughs> ah, everyone's laughing <laughs> until you see those red dots on your foreheads come on come on quit screwing around here but 
Tulsi Gabbard is bringing up a great point about the DNC, why they're trying to hide RFK Jr. As soon as he threw his hat in the ring, his approval rating and support amongst voters began to increasingly rise. Now, here's something that, again, RBN, Hard Lens Media, and Due Dissidents have all brought up. The Democratic Party will do everything it can to rig this system. I mean, the, the, we, we know what the end result will be. Seeing an RFK Jr. victory in the DNC primary of 2024, it's impossible. Knowing how the superdelegates act, knowing how corporate media acts, knowing how the entire establishment is going to be running its its tactics throughout the primary. Um, the one thing I would say to the RFK Jr. campaign is take notes, uh, call out every single incident of election fraud. And this goes even to the diehard uh, RFK Jr. supporters. You're going to have to do your due diligence to observe the polling stations, to observe election fraud to keep an eye and also know your rights as a voter. So we are going to be covering this election and we are going to be covering this primary. And the one thing that everyone in independent media should do, and I already know that the conclusion is going to be the DNC is going to be committing election fraud. It needs to be documented. Now, Bernie Sanders was never going to talk about it. He was never going to do that. RFK Jr. though, he's going to have to. That's if he wants to. I want to pull up this other video here as well when in regards towards if Biden's not the nominee, who will they pick? Who will they pick? So let's go and pull up this video. And I know it's Hillary Clinton. I'm sorry to abuse you guys with her image. My apologies. So there you've got Harold Hillary saying it's a legitimate issue. Is Joe Biden going to be the guy? Uh, he's uh, he's the president and likely will be the guy. Uh, I do think some of the polling showing uh, RFK Jr. and Marion Williamson, who I think are serious people, but I don't think you would have three months ago said they would be. So put them all on the stage. But so, it's, so they're running 25 to 30 percent in the polling. Yeah. If that number maintains, I think, over the next 60 days, I think you'll, you'll find more Democrats, even perhaps some elected officials thinking about it. But Joe Biden's our nominee now. Aged people will consider it. But if your, your mental acuity is not question if your policy acuity is right. So I think if the president gets out the campaign, uh, he needs a message. Uh, he'll have he'll talk about what he's done in the past, but he needs to tell us where he's going to take us going forward. That's how you win a real election. Well, well I can tell you, uh, Bobby Kennedy is a compelling candidate. For many of us who have been Democrats all our lives, I recently switched out. It's the Kennedy family. Uh, 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 <laughs> no, no, actually, I don't think the Democrats want that. But they're a flawed family, but Bobby Kennedy's message is distinctive. Uh, it's in, in many ways positive and powerful. It crosses the spectrum, uh, and uh, it makes me hopeful that the Democrats might look at to a, a different direction. All right. That's a fool's errand. That's not going to happen. The Democratic Party will not look into a different direction. I think it's um, very clear what's going to happen. Now, I also want to pull up this video here. Well, it's not a video. It's more of an image. Shout out to Case Study QB for getting the screenshot. Americans who approve of Biden's handling of the economy, 33 percent, disapprove, 66 percent. Gun policy, 31 percent approve, 67 percent disapprove. Immigration, 31 percent approve, disapprove, 67 percent. Vote blue no matter who. You can't hide it anymore. You can't hide that Joe Biden is a failure. You can't ignore the fact that RFK Jr. and to a lesser extent of what remains of the Marianne Williamson campaign is causing voters to look somewhere else. Biden made sure that nothing would fundamentally change. And in that, his administration, whether vote blue no matter who likes it or not, made sure that a lot of Trump's domestic and foreign policies still remain. The kids are still in cages, folks. Americans are still losing their homes and apartments. Small businesses are being shut down. Our air, soil, and water are being contaminated. Trains are being derailed. Our infrastructure is falling apart. We have money for war and endless money to bail out the banks and Wall Street. The office of presidency is a joke. It doesn't matter who sits in the throne. But I want everyone to keep an open eye out. And be very self-aware of just how corrupt our entire political system is. The only way we can and will make change is through citizen ballot initiatives. 
and by building movements and organizations not connected to the two-party system. We have to break away from it. We must break away from it. Good luck to RFK Jr. You're going to need it. And Tulsi Gabbard is absolutely correct in calling out the two-party system because she went through it. The DNC will commit election fraud. It's going to happen. Just everyone pretend to be shocked when it does.